Hello, welcome to AI Medical School. In today's video we are studying about H2 receptor antagonist drug, which is ranitidine and it is used for acidity and with other problems. But before start the lecture, subscribe to the channel and like the video. In this lecture, we will cover the overview of the drug, its indications, contraindication, side effects, warnings, and brand names. Ranitidine is a histamine H2 receptor antagonist similar to cimetidine and famotidine. Competitively inhibits the binding of histamine to receptors on gastric parietal cells, thus reducing basal and nocturnal gastric acid secretion. It also decreases the amount of gastric acid released in response to stimuli such as food, caffeine, insulin etc. Ranitidine is 5 to 12 times as potent as cimetidine as a histamine receptor antagonist. While having less affinity than cimetidine for the cytochrome hepatic enzyme system. As a result, ranitidine is much less likely than cimetidine to interact with other drugs, although drug interactions with ranitidine do exist. Similar to other H2 receptor antagonists, the main use of ranitidine is in the treatment of gastrointestinal disorders. In June 1983 ranitidine was approved by the FDA for use in management of duodenal ulcer and hypersecretory states. Ranitidine is administered orally and by intravenous injection or infusion. Indications Ranitidine is primarily indicated in conditions like benign gastric and duodenal ulceration, benign gastric ulcer, chronic episodic dyspepsia, duodenal ulcer, duodenal ulceration, duodenal ulceration associated with H. pylori, gastric acid reduction, gastric acidity, gastroesophageal reflux disease, heartburn, long-term treatment of healed gastroesophageal reflux disease. NSAID-associated ulceration, peptic ulcer, postoperative ulcer, prophylaxis of acid aspiration in obstetric patients. Prophylaxis of NSAID-associated and induced gastric or duodenal ulcer, prophylaxis of recurrent hemorrhage and stress ulceration, reflux esophagitis, Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, and can also be given in adjunctive therapy. As an alternative drug of choice in Helicobacter pylori infection, long-term treatment of healed reflux esophagitis, moderate to severe reflux esophagitis, prophylaxis of acid aspiration in obstetrics and Mendelssohn syndrome, surgical procedures. Contraindication. Ranitidine is contraindicated in conditions like hypersensitivity, pregnancy, porphyria, breastfeeding, pain and inflammation. Side effects. The severe or irreversible adverse effects of ranitidine, which give rise to further complications include thrombocytopenia, hepatitis, hepatomegaly, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, bradycardia, AV block, leukopenia, acute pancreatitis, pancytopenia, marrow hypoplasia. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by ranitidine are more or less tolerable and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically. These include dizziness, tiredness, headache, nausea, diarrhea, fever, constipation, rashes, confusion, erythema, dysuria, hallucination, impotence, darkening of stool and tongue, depression, arthralgia, gynecomastia, agitation, and anaphylactic shock. Warnings Ranitidine should be used with caution in patients with impaired kidney or liver function. Intravenous injection should be given slowly and intravenous infusion is recommended in patients with cardiovascular impairment. Exclude the possibility of malignancy in gastric ulcer before instituting therapy. Regular supervision of patient with peptic ulcer and on nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is recommended, especially if elderly. Should be avoided in the patient with history of acute porphyria. Ranitidine bismuth citrate should be used with caution in hepatic impairment, in renal impairment, pregnancy, breastfeeding. H2 receptor antagonists might mask the symptoms of gastric cancer. Particular care is required in those whose symptoms change and in those who are middle-aged or over. High-risk groups. Drugs should not be given to pregnant mothers, 
patients suffering from kidney dysfunction, patients suffering from liver malfunction, geriatrics, and neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should re-evaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Dosage Adult dose 150 to 300 mg, single dose, 150 mg, frequency, 8 hourly. Root, oral, intravenous, and intramuscular. Brand names Zantac and Asiloc. I hope you liked the lecture. See you next video. Thanks for watching.